All right, Green Thumb Garden family. I like that leash back at you from right here at the Green Thumb Garden channel. Right here in the Grow Zone 8B in Kitchen, Georgia. And in this morning's brief video, I'm bringing you guys along with me back around to our backyard food forest where we're going to be harvesting, we're pruning and harvesting our moringa trees for the very first time. Most of you guys have been there who've been following our channel for a while or whether we're currently growing four moringa trees here at Little Creek Home. We're actually in between Little Creek Homestead and Pineapple Place here. We're actually growing a total of four Burundian moringa trees here. Now we re received these seeds via our friend, Mr. V.A. Grower up in Virginia. Mr. VA Grower, we super, super, super decided to be growing this moringa here, but we super pleased and uh, grateful to you for sending us these seeds to begin with. These seeds have been, um, they were slow to germinate. They actually were slow to um, grow from the seedling stage to actual trees here, but I'm gonna raise this camera up for you guys and show you guys exactly what we have going on with our four Burundian moringa trees here and why we're gonna get out here today and harvest these, well, actually prune these trees and conduct a small harvest uh, at the same time. You guys see that? It's our first moringa tree. Now we've been growing these moringa trees here for about three months, I'd say. About a good three months we've been growing these uh, moringa trees here. This is our second moringa tree. Most of you guys in Delaware who are familiar with Moringa you may know Moringa as the miracle tree. And if you do know Moringa and you know it as the miracle tree, you know why it's referred to as the miracle tree. We are indeed looking fantastic at this point. We're going to get out here what we're going to actually do. We're going to whack the top half of our moringa trees off. Now what's why are we gonna whack off exactly half of our trees at this point in the grow season? We're gonna whack off half of our trees at this point in the grow season because we want our trees to actually spread out and become more of a bush form as opposed to these straight single stem um forms that you see here. We're gonna get out here. This one on the end which happens to be the smallest one we won't take quite half of this little guy up. We'll take about one eighth of this one off and we'll go down the line and we'll actually trim the others off to meet the height of this very first one here. Again, we have a total of four moringa trees here in between Little Creek Homestead and Pineapple Place over here. I'm gonna get in here right now. Again, I'm only gonna take about one eighth of this first plant off here at the very top. I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna bring you guys in here along for the show as I do this. You guys see that? See where I am? See where the top of this plant is? The top of this plant is virtually right there in that center, although you have these two side branches that stick up a little higher than the center of this tree. I'm literally just going to take off one right below that center there, down to the growth note right below that one, and I'm just going to whack that off. I'll collect that piece there. As we go down the line, judging from where I cut off our we are pruning up our first tree here. We're just gonna go and make a calculated guess as to where to top this guy off here. You guys can see the top of this tree here. And you see where how much I'm actually taking off here. I'm again trying to even these trees off in height across all four trees here and conduct a small moringa harvest in the process. All right. I'll collect that little piece there. We'll move on down to our next tree here in the line. Show you the height on this one. We'll round level up again in keeping with the height of our previous leaf pruned trees. I'm going to cut this one off right here. I'll collect that little piece there. Not a whole lot of moringa that we're taking off of these trees today, but enough to give our trees a huge growth spurt before the end of the growth season here. And this is our largest Moringa tree and most of you guys have been following the video series on this Moringa know why this particular tree is the largest one amongst all of our Moringa trees here. We won't go back through that again but what we'll do here is 
whack this tree off roughly at about halfway up the stem here. That'll bring all of our trees into a uniform level of height. And now if I take you guys back down the line, show you guys what we got what we have going on. As you guys can see, all of our marina trees are now at the same height here. Now we're back to our food forest. I'm going to retrieve this moringa here and show you guys the totality of our small harvest today. Not a tremendous harvest at all, but a harvest that we are indeed thankful for nonetheless. You guys see that? One last chance at our four moringa trees. And one first time look at our moringa harvest from those four trees out there. Any of you guys who um, have followed our channel for a while, uh, uh, who are already with the fact that we grow Moringa here every chance that we get, you guys have already seen the process of how we go about preparing this Moringa and how we go about drying it and all of that good stuff. But for those of you who are just recently joining our channel, we simply either air dry our Moringa inside so as to keep it away from insects and other things that like to eat Moringa besides us or we dehydrate our moringa in our dehydrator. And for the purpose of this small, tiny harvest, we'll be just be popping this moringa once we um, take each individual branch, a small branch from the main stems. We'll just take this moringa and place it inside of our dehydrator. And if you had dehydrated in less than two hours, moringa takes very little time to dehydrate and we'll get this ground up into powder form at any rate thanks for watching if indeed you currently are watching this video on harvesting and pruning our moringa trees and our backyard food forest and you're not already subscribed to the green thumb gardening channel please take a moment to press that subscribe button beneath this video the like button the notification button and be sure green thumb gardening family be sure, be sure, be sure to share this video with your friends and family as well. Thanks for watching.